My name is Beth Jaynes and I've worked for Bath and North East Somerset Citizen Advice Bureau for three years now, first as a volunteer and then later on as an employee. Um, our service is one which is universal, it means that anybody who's in need of advice and support can walk through our doors or give us a call and we'll do whatever we can to help them. We have uh, two main aims and that is uh, one simply to give advice to people um, uh, to help them resolve their problems and also to challenge social policy issues which are affecting people's lives. We don't want to just treat the symptoms, we also want to treat, treat the cause of people's problems as well and that's why we focus on policy as well as advice. I can't remember a time um, since joining this Bureau that we haven't been under constant pressure from our funders to demonstrate what we're doing in the community, how we're helping clients and the difference we're making. Our more traditional ways of reporting to them through using outcomes recorded on our case management system is simply not enough anymore and we're in a situation where funding is becoming more scarce and it's being reduced and yet the problems that people are facing are increasing which means our workload is constantly increasing. So this was an opportunity for us to really demonstrate the good work we do um, through a very robust piece of research. We decided to focus on what we call our core service which is the service which is completely universal and whoever you are you can come drop through our door, give us a call and we'll be able to support you. And this is also the service which um, our local funders provide the money for as well so it's really important for us to concentrate on that and prove to our local council what we do with their money and the value that we produce. We interviewed um, 80 clients uh, uh, once and um, out of those we interviewed 38 a second time as well um, and we asked them questions around what happened during their advice session, what their problems were and what happened as a result of the advice we gave them. Um, in addition to these interviews we also asked clients to complete the uh, short Warwick Edinburgh mental mental well-being scale, um, first at the recruitment stage uh, to allow us to collect baseline data and then at their subsequent interviews after that. Uh, to allow us to understand uh, how much uh, the CAB contributed to the positive outcomes, we actually asked clients to tell us that and we found that most clients attributed um, it either all or mostly to the CAB, that the, outcome, the positive outcomes occurred. Uh, we were extremely fortunate to have a very uh, skilled research team at the Bureau uh, made uh, out of uh, researchers from the University and also uh, volunteers who worked within the Bureau as well. And in addition to the interviews that we did with clients, we also used the data that we collect on our case management system to help us fill in any gaps um, that the, um, with information that the clients gave us. We analysed the interview data and the data that we collected from our case management system and translated um, this data into financial outcomes using social return on investment. We were able to calculate an SORI ratio of 1 to 50 for the 80 clients we interviewed over a five year period, meaning that every pound, was, pound which was invested in us, we were able to produce £50 worth of value. It's been so wonderful for all the staff and volunteers to get a, a picture of what of the good work that they're doing and the results that it's having. And we've been able to prove really what we've always known is true, that we make a dramatic difference to, to our clients' lives. And not just their lives, but also the lives of their families. We've also been able to demonstrate the link between advice and health. Um, we found that um, we significantly improved the health of many of our clients who sought advice from us. We've also been able to show that we're a very preventative service as well, so not only have we helped we help clients resolve the problems they face, we've also stopped future problems from happening from doing that, as well as also empowering some of our clients to take control of their lives. We're an extremely effective service, we're extremely good at what we do, we're extremely good at giving people advice and helping them resolve their issues, um, but the project has also taught us that we need to be reflective on what we do and listen to the comments uh, that we received from our clients regarding improvements we might have made we could make for example our clients have told us that they need longer term support um, with things like attending benefit tribunals uh, not someone to advocate for them but just somebody to literally sit with them and wait and go in with them as well which is not some traditionally something CABs do but as a result of those comments we've set up something called the support advice service where volunteers actually accompany clients 
to benefit tribunals and to the job centre for appointments. And um, while it's been criticised by some for being disempowering, actually, um, initial analysis has shown that it doesn't do that, it actually empowers clients even more to take control of their situation. While the project was extremely exciting to do, um, we also faced a number of challenges, um, mainly with um, finding enough people to do the interviews. Um, it was extremely difficult to, to find enough volunteers willing to you know, take on hundreds of interviews. We also spent a lot of our time chasing up clients. Um, CAB clients are sometimes notoriously difficult to get hold of, um, so it was very, very time consuming to get them to, to take part in some of the interviews sometimes, despite previously agreeing to do so. Um, we've been able to share our results with uh, lots of other stakeholders. Um, we've put it on our website so that anyone visiting us for advice can see the good work we're doing. We've sent copies to our funders. Um, we've also spoken at numerous conferences about the research that we've done. Um, and we're sharing results with other CABs as well. Um, we've also inbuilt it into our training so that um, anyone who's trained by this bureau now now has a good understanding of what we do. And we're also ha um, planning to hold our own conference to share our results with, with other people. Um, and I'm currently doing some work um, on a partnership project funded by the Big Lottery and the Cabinet Office. Um, and that's about changing advice services with the new, within the new funding environment. And a part of that project focuses on impact measurement. So it's been a real honour for me to be able to share with other organisations, other advice organisations, the value that they're having and how they prove that to their funders as well. And it's our hope that eventually we'll be able to de develop a qu a quite a simple toolkit that doesn't involve complex interviews, time, and which is very extremely time consuming, but rather clients can simply fill out a, a questionnaire if you like, and that allow us to have the same valuable data. And finally, I think um, through doing this research, we've created a, actually a research team within our bureau, the research volunteers we call them, which is very, very unique. And these volunteers just focus on gathering data and producing research um, to show um, everybody the good work that we're doing. It's been a real pleasure talking to you today. I really hope that you've learned something about our research. If you'd like more information, please go to www.cab hyphen Baines, that stands for Bath and North East Somerset, so that's B-A-N-E-S dot org and search for proving our value.